Shreff. Shelly, Shelly! Salam, Liberty! And let me say, Salam, Iran! And we have the flags and we're going to wave them! We are oppression! I repeat, we are all Ashrafi because freedom is all of our freedoms and democracy belongs to us all. And most of all that freedom and that respect and that good treatment belongs to those residents of Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty. So we we'll wave our flags again! <laughs> that the storm of change in the Middle East is also a message to our own governments. It is time, too, for us to make a change, to change our 30-year-old policy towards the reason, and especially towards Iran. The West has reached an impasse with an Iranian regime which only talks in the language of terror and intimidation. A regime which derails nuclear discussion. A regime which has defied 58 condemnations by the United Nations over its human rights record. We have gone beyond all reasonable limits in tolerating this regime and the result has been a terrible injustice. 120 martyrs Members and supporters of the Iranian opposition have been executed and massacred and we pay tribute to them. 3,400 of its members are in Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty and they have been suppressed at the behest of the Iranian mullahs through their proxy al-Maliki and that must not be allowed to continue. <laughs> it has been said by many, and some in my own parliament, that resistance, this resistance, doesn't have support in Iran. That is not true. You prove that's not true. <laughs> and it never has been true. 500,000 PMOI members demonstrated in Tehran as far back as June the 20th 1981. Let us tell the world the PMOI is the opposition and the rightful government in Iran. <laughs> Let me tell the regime, stop your torture, stop your repression, stop your executions just for one day, and you will then see the real support for opposition in Iran. <laughs> You here today are the voice of the millions in Iran who cannot speak. And so I say to the UK government, to the US government, to the Europe, United Nations Security Council, listen to your voice, listen to your argument. Sadly, you haven't listened when they 
raised all their concerns about camp liberty. You haven't listened when they raised their concerns about the treatment of people in Camp Ashraf. I therefore say to our governments, the United Nations, the European Council, to the British government and the American government, listen to the views of the real supporters of Iran. They're here in this hall and the message should go out to them loud and clear. <laughs> now so that we can start to atone for three decades of destructive mistakes in support of one of the darkest contemporary dictatorships in this world today. Act now in support of human rights. Act now for a free and democratic Iran. I say democracy with Mrs. Madame Rajavi. I say Iran will be free. I take very seriously the trust placed in me today. I speak today as ambassador for the European Union for humanitarian causes. I've also been a refugee myself, so I can imagine all too easily the agony and grief of those we are here to support today, imprisoned, excluded and isolated of Hamas, Ashraf and Liberty. For those in need, in Camp Ashraf and Liberty and in Iran as a whole, we need to stand up to the dark forces of oppression. À ma place, en tant qu'ambassadrice de l'Union européenne et en tant que femme, je dois aider à éclairer ceux qui souffrent et leur porter une voix. Côte à côte, avec Madame Rajavi et son équipe.